नमस्कार नमस्कार uh well i don't really have a question uh, i'm just very new to this and um i just found it one of your video and it just resonated to me i've been on the past for a while but i just couldn't get it i got it as soon as in your video yeah that's it now now i get it but um yeah it feels good but the only thing is yeah i found that pretty hard now to socialize though i found people boring ah uh, yeah you know if you can connect with your source with your truth with your soul you know the more you connect with your soul through this practice that i have spoken about the more you also connect with the soul of the other and what you find gradually is that everyone is very interesting because you just take time to actually tune into the other person because you are tuned into yourself and then people like the most uh, unusual people who you wouldn't otherwise have thought are in any way interesting suddenly become these these almost like uh, you know like you're looking at something in a museum because you're going in and you're realizing oh my god this is a person and they've got a life and they've got yearnings and desires and they've got a history and they've got a future and they've got a past and, and they've got a social life that you don't understand or a background that is foreign to you it starts to become very fascinating this thing called living and you don't need to watch movies anymore because each person you see is a movie and this is something very very uh fascinating about this self realization journey because it's really not a big pain and you don't have to meditate for hours and and sit there with stiff knees afterwards and it's just about being in this moment alert awake alive and very soon if you take up this practice as a sadhana sadhana meaning a practice which is done with a deep devotion and surrender you will soon uh, be socializing with everyone you see so don't worry about it take up the practice and you'll see in a little while everyone becomes an interesting being and it's not because you're this deep empathetic personality also because of that but you really do get interested in other people and you're not any more looking for those interesting charismatic amazing beings to to entertain you but you're just entertained by conversations with a neighbor or with the postman or just with someone anyone it's a very fascinating thing I experience it all the time. I I just can't can't get bored sometimes talking about the weather all the time. Oh, the weather is a very interesting thing. You know, <laughs> the thing is, it's not the weather; it's the person that you're talking with. So then you 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 you're looking deeper into that person because you're looking deeper into yourself. There's no place for boredom for someone who's on this journey. so you just need to discipline yourself a bit more to follow this practice and very soon you'll be discussing the intricacies of the weather with your neighbor whom you suddenly realize is far far deeper a being than you thought possible when you first you know encountered them it's also understanding that people do have depths to them which they don't so easily uh, reveal you mirror the depths in themselves also yeah. 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 So, so you really have to remove all judgment. You don't have to remove anything. You focus on discerning between that loud ego and the truth impulse. And as you feel more and more connected to the truth impulse, the the judgments fall away because they're not. they're not as interesting as the impulse of the truth these judgments of other people arise in the ego because you're trying to compare yourself to them it's always in a comparison you know they're meant actually to support these comparisons which are always anyway saying that you're better than them and when you know your own truth 
you don't have to be better than anyone else. So you don't make those judgments, and suddenly, you know, that, that overweight lady next door who's always eating sausages becomes this very interesting person who uh, can actually uh, come up with some amazing wisdoms which you didn't think of before. It's like a opening to an entirely new dimension of communication. Because the ego is saying that that person is boring. What else is saying that? It isn't the truth saying, Luru, that person is boring. That's not what the truth is saying. I think it's a louder voice saying that, right? And, and, and maybe you'll find out that you're more boring than they are. Your there, there ego is, is a, more boring. There is a, there's a lot of work. Um, there's a lot of work getting to know your ego because your ego has a lot of faces. You don't have to spend time getting to know your ego. That is not this sadhana. This sadhana is to spend time getting to know the truth. You turn away from the ego, you don't even need to look at it. You are focusing on the truth. Why do you want to look at the ego? And I mean, this is a simplification, obviously. You know, we are, we are deconstructing things so that we're dealing with the, the minimum number of... Um, of objects in the in the box. So we're talking about you, Ludo, son of what's your mother's name, Ludo? Andre. So Ludo, son of Andrea, and where were you born, Ludo? In France. Okay, so where in France? Berzon. Berzon. So Ludo, son of Andrea from Berzon. That's your identity. That's it, nothing more than that. And that Ludo, son of Andrea from Berzon, is observing, discerning when the ego is pushing him and when it's the truth impulse that's motivating something. That's all. And the more you go with the truth impulse and don't listen to the ego when it's telling you, uh, Whatever it's telling you, judge that person, or uh, eat something you shouldn't be eating, or uh, say something you shouldn't be saying, the more you deepen in self-realization. And the more you deepen in self-realization, the greater joy there is in your system. And when there is joy in the system, there's joy in all the experiences that you have. Everything is more joyous. So don't look at the ego, that's not what this, this sadhana or this practice is. Not. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I feel it. You know, it's it's. You, you feel it in your body anyway. I do feel it. I don't know if it's just me, but I do feel it. I just don't. Know. Is meditation really? Um. Uh, I've got a lot of time on my hands, so I'm just I'm just wondering: is meditation like the more you do, the better to get fast? You know, to to get there faster. Uh, because I always had uh, I had the idea that the principle was to push the ego away, and so that the longest you keep it away from you, the more room you give for your soul. And so, yeah, the idea. So much of meditation will just make you strange. Yeah, all right. Yeah. It pushes your awareness out of the system. It takes you out of the system. It doesn't keep you here and now. You have to be here and now, and if you have so much time on your hands, go for a walk, go for a long walk. It's cold, I understand. Are you in Europe now? Well, I, do, I do that every day. Uh, I've got a lot of time, so I do a lot of walk, skateboarding, whatever I can do. I'm in Australia at the moment. Ah, you're in Australia. Oh my, yeah. that's... So you've got lots of outdoors stuff yeah. to do, and it's warm there yeah. now. If you have a lot of time on your hands, you can also start to volunteer for something, you know? You can do some volunteering. You have to ask the truth, is this the thing for me to do? Meditation, a little bit of meditation, a half an hour in a day, that's fine. The moment it goes into long hours of meditation, then you're also going out of your system and then you're not present. And the result is that you make even more mistakes because the ego takes over. That's what happens, you know, generally. Not in all cases, but generally. So why would you want to do that? 
do some volunteering, observe yourself, go for walks. And there's a lot of amazing people in Australia. I've been to Australia and I had I met very interesting people. So I don't think that people are boring. I think it's just you are maybe afraid of talking to people or of just engaging in simple conversations. And I think that you should take it up. It'll be fun. Life is a very joyous thing. Do you have a partner? No. Can you, why don't you have a partner? You look like a nice person. Yeah. No? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy by myself. <laughs> well, the more you're by yourself, the bigger your ego grows. <laughs> Maybe it's time to find a nice lady with whom you can oh. spend some time. No? Too much trouble. That's true. Women are really trouble, I understand. But but uh, maybe you'll find one that's not so troublesome. Yeah, yeah partner is a good thing. They keep your ego in line. They straighten you out. They demand from you. You have to always bend to them. All of that. It's perfect, isn't it? If it's meant to happen, it will happen. No, no, no. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> That's a nice excuse. People, people say that when they, when they don't want to take up something proactively. But ask your truth, ask your truth. If your truth says, Ludo, it's time to find um, a partner for the game. The game, it's a nice game, Ludo. Uh, I just got tired of games. <laughs> you have to play it in a different way now. We okay. play it in a self-realized way. Yeah. But yes, on a serious note, it is important to go out now. And I feel that you're isolating yourself too much. You're somehow not connected with the real world. And there's fear in you. And you don't have to be afraid. You're not so important in the scheme of things. So don't be afraid. Just go out there. It doesn't matter if someone says something rude to you, then so be it. Not a big deal. You're not so important in the scheme of things. It'll be fine. Okay? You must come back once and tell us how you're doing. Namaskar, Dudo. Namaskar.